welcome back. We appreciate you watching. Apologies for the delay. Been extremely busy getting a lot of stuff going as the site grows or the channel grows rather. There's been a delay on the website for a little bit, but we're working that out so soon. In the meantime, we're gonna come back in and hit the snake. So how to cultivate basic gene, moon power. Now, unlike leopard, which is springy, up and down, bouncing, popping, we're using our muscles, muscle weight, fire element, changing the muscle. However, in snake, we're using water weight, blood weight, so the drop, it's gonna be different. So imagine a garbage bag with water in it, tied in a knot, and just drop it on the ground. How the water expands out and the bag gets tight. Or you can push it and it moves. This is gene, like snake. Water, chaos. So we're gonna use a basic technique to start cultivating gene. But however, remember, in basic snake, it can seem extremely advanced. However, if you watch the technique, you can do it. You just have to be loose. Now, if you find your muscles are too tight, go back to leopard puffing fire. There's several videos back. Agility, feel those muscles bouncing up and down. Do some jump rope. Practice chi sao with someone who's better so they can Make a mockery of your extra strong efforts. Now these efforts have their place, but it's not there at the time. Muscle is made for agility. Blood is made for fluidity. So that's what we're gonna work. Now blood follows movement. So the movement we're gonna practice is from right here. Swimming serpent one. One hand is gonna be right here just like this. Shoulders, hips, body facing 45. Back heel up. I'm coming right here. I'm gonna strike across and I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna peel, I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna drop. Now I'm gonna get closer so you can see the hands. And I'm gonna do this slow several times. Coming across. As I wrap up, underneath pull, right here. This hand is gonna come over, dragging the next one. Jing, heavy. It's almost like the weight is coming out twice. One hit and then another hit. It's like the weight of the water reels itself out. It's the best way I can explain or describe. Here it is, I'm striking up. Your opponent's here. Bone power, heavy bones, right? Wrap, move, here we go. This hand comes under, swing, using this first. Now that's a longer drawn out breath. Doesn't have to be there but it's a water breath, which is different than fire. Fire, you can tell it has less density. Because we're slinging our blood is what we're really doing. Blood slinging. Now the breath with fire, you can hear the difference. Faster, higher, faster intervals. Now there's a reason for this water is denser, so we're gonna move slower a little bit, not as fast. So it's like rock, paper, scissors. Think of it all like that. So anything can happen. It's not that any style is better, it's just that there's different skill levels. So one more time, around, wrap, pull. So you see there's two strikes here, one, two on the end, wrap, hit, wrap. All the way across, wrap, underneath, 
Here we come. The hand ends up right on top of the shoulder. Now we're gonna feed under. Here we go again. Okay, now what will happen is later on, that breath is gonna transform into a hiss. I'll demonstrate that some other time. For now, we gotta get the movement down. All right, I won't make you wait too long. We'll do the hiss at some point. But we have to get the movement solid. We gotta get the blood moving, swinging back and forth. If we ever wanna develop any kind of writhing power. Loose. Blood. Blood work. So if the doc says, let me see your blood work, there it is. All right. We appreciate you watching this video on cultivation of gene, moon energy. Click like if you're really feeling it. Even better, subscribe. We appreciate you. Seafood Les Clements out.